Okay, we're gonna continue with our second example under 1C notes. So this one is kind of familiar to what we just did with circles, where we have um, two shapes, both rectangles, one inside the other, and we want just this outside shaded area. So to do that, I need to find the area of the whole thing, which is gonna be a rectangle. So that's gonna be 19 times seven. 19 times seven is 133. Okay, so 133 would be if the whole thing was shaded in. But I don't want the whole thing. I just want this piece. So I need to take out this white part. Okay, that is also a rectangle. The white is four times 15, which is 60. Okay, so I have this much total. Okay, I'm just gonna write here a little note. So the total shaded is gonna be 133 minus the middle part. And that, whatever's left, the 73, is my area for the shaded going around the outside edge. This is inches squared. So 73 inches squared would be the area of that shaded. My last one, um, as far as examples go, uh, I can see here we've got a couple different shapes things going on. Um, the one that's probably the most obvious is this square right here, which is 12 by 12. That means all four sides are 12. We've got a triangle inside here that we don't that we need to take out of the total, and then we've got another triangle up here on top. Okay, so um, let's just first of all find the area of the square. Okay, because this is going to be one where we're going to take find the area of everything within these borders here, and then we're going to find the area of this triangle and take it out or subtract it. So the square is just going to be 12 times 12. Okay, so 144 is the area of the square. The area of the top triangle, okay, now that here it gets a little, again, we gotta do a little manipulating around here. So from top to bottom is 15. If I come up this far, I have come up 12. Okay, these are gonna come straight across here. So that means whatever's left here at the top is gonna be three. I also know that this side of the triangle is also the side of the square. That is going to be 12. So the dimensions that I need for the triangle area is going to be 12 times 3 divided by 2, which is 18. So now if I put those two together, 144 plus 18, I get 162. Now 162 is the total for everything. But I need to um, subtract or find the area, first of all, this triangle right here, so that I can um, take it out of the 162. So I can pretty easily see that this is the base, and then the height is always straight up and down. Okay, it's not gonna be one of these slanted ones, it's gonna be coming straight down here, because the base and the height have to form a right angle. So this base is 12, and from this bottom point up to here, is also gonna be 12. Okay, so the base and the height of this triangle are 12 and 12. Don't forget triangles, we've got a base on height divided by two. So the area of this white triangle is 72. So the total for the shaded is gonna be 162 minus the white triangle, 72. That leaves me 90. This one has a unit of meters, and so my label on that would be square meters. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.